Hello Sagittarius viewers. So as a lot of you know, a lot of you that have been following me for a while know that I recently started doing third party readings. So I'm still going to do the, the mid month and beginning of the month Zodiac videos, but I'm also doing third party readings and twin flame and soulmate messages as well. Love readings, um, maybe financial readings here and there, but I'm switching things up a little bit because there's a lot of um, messages about karmics and about, you know, third party situations that are wanting to come through right now. So this channel is going to be pretty diverse, um, or it's becoming diverse, I should say. But um, but yeah, I'll still be doing these readings as well. So let's see what the cards want to say. Now this could be about finances, about love. It's it's whatever the storyline is, whatever whatever you know, spirit guides want to come through and communicate. Codependency addiction. Pride and stubbornness. Confusion, uncertainty. Now, this is two people that really want to talk to each other, but they're both being kind of prideful and stubborn. It's like this person's waiting for this person to reach, reach out, and this person's waiting for this person to reach out. Like two people want to talk. Um, two people are very much in love here. This is like... I mean, I see the codependency, but I almost see it. I don't know if I can, I don't know how, if it makes sense to say healthy codependency. I don't know if that's a thing, but it's almost like this is just like your person. Like there's just, like it seems codependent to the outside world because it's so passionate and it's so deep and it's so different and it's so romantic. So to everybody else, it kind of seems codependent or it seems like it moved quickly. But I think that you two know, you know, this is true love. This is... You know what I mean? It's just passionate. It's just not, it's not the norm, but this is your soulmate or your twin flame. Like this is your person. So that's why it's so passionate. It's not codependency. It's just like, that's your person. That's the person you want to come home to and vice versa. But it seems like there's some kind of confusion here because I just see these two energies where it's like, they want to talk, but some, both of them are being prideful and stubborn. Both of them are not telling each other how much they love each other. It's like, this is like behind the scenes, this desire to just you know, be engulfed in each other because they have true love. They have something that, and you know what, you know, I want to say too, a lot of people will say this is codependent or it's just, you know, toxic or it's this or that because they wish that they could have it. A lot of people, when they see twin flame couples, they will get jealous and they will try to tear it down. And they'll try to say, you can't, you can't get married after six months of knowing someone or you can't, um, they're love bombing you or they're, this isn't trustworthy. This, you know, it's too good to be true, yada, yada. And it might seem like they have your best interest at heart, but really it's just jealousy because they, most of their, most relationships, a lot of people never find this. And you guys do have this connection here with someone, you know what I mean? So a lot of people, when they see someone have this kind of passion and chemistry and just raw emotion like that, they get jealous and so they try to they try to block you from having it. They try to say, oh, it's codependent, it's toxic, it's not gonna last, you guys are moving too fast. They try to tear you down because some part of them knows that, you know, they're never gonna have that, or they might not end up having that. You know, some people go their whole lives trying to find a relationship that's this deep and this pure. You know what I mean? So it's like, don't care about what people think or what society thinks. You know, what do you think? You know what I mean? Because this is your true love. This is you know what I mean? I'm also seeing a situation here where people might have been jealous and they might have been toxic and they might have tried to put something in either his head or her, or her head, uh, male or female energies. This could also apply to the LGBT community. So take it as it resonates, whoever, you know, there, there's no assigned gender here. So it's just, you know, it's just the energy group. So, so please, even if I say male, it could be female or vice versa. Just, just don't get caught up on gender. It's, it's, you know, whoever it's for, take it as it resonates. But I'm getting that the energy that someone here, um, or that multiple people tried to sabotage this connection out of jealousy because they wanted to tie either her down or him down or both of them, you know, and it's kind of like, what is that saying? Like if, if, what is that quote? Like when, you know, if, when, when two soulmates come together, the devil will try to tear them apart. And it's kind of like, don't, don't let people tear you apart from each other. You know what I mean? Don't let people's opinions or people's limited thinking get in your head and get in the way of something 
that's meant to be. Don't let don't let people's limited ways of thinking get in the way of true love. Don't let these people's opinions get, you know, confuse you or make you uncertain of something that you know in your heart is real and solid. Now listen to your own your own intuition because on a psychic level, you already know. It's like these these on a mental level, it seems like someone here is confused. Possibly because of their own fears and insecurities, but also I feel like other people kind of confused them in a little bit and kept them in the dark. Um, but I feel like on a psycho, a psychic, on a psychic level. Oh my gosh, sorry. Someone might have like a throat chakra block as well. On a psychic level, someone here knows that this is true love, telepathy, dreams, visions. Someone like on in the five D, you guys are together already. You know what I mean? Like someone is confused because they've been listening to other people so much. They've been listening to society so much. And this might not even be that anyone's necessarily told this person straight up like, oh, this is too good to be true or, or, um, you know, this is, this is, this is, you know what I mean? Like, or, or like maybe for a lot of you, I think someone did get in someone's head here out of jealousy, out of, because they wanted to control someone here and keep them in place. And they realize this kind of passion is uncontrollable. It's unpredictable. And people might not have liked that this, they might not have liked this energy. Maybe this is someone who's like, hey, I want my best friend back. Like I'm used to my best friend being a certain way. And now he's all over this woman. I don't like this. Like I'm not used to this. So he tried, he got jealous and tried to sabotage it. Or it could be her best friend or her, someone she knows as well. It's like, these two people are all about each other. They're just in love. It's, it's very deep. It's very pure. And people get jealous because, for one, they don't have that kind of connection. That kind of connection is very rare and very beautiful. And when you have it, you want to fight for it with everything you've got. Um, and then the second reason they might be jealous is just maybe because they're used to having this person's attention or this person's attention. Like, this could be like a best friend of hers or a best friend of his. And they're like, you've changed since you met this person. You're more passionate. You're more emotional. You're more rom romantic. And they might be scared that maybe... Um, Maybe some of you are like at a distance and they might be scared that you're going to move away and be with this person or that, you know, she's going to move away and be with this person. You know, maybe they're, maybe it's like your best friend or something and, and this person lives at a distance and they're worried that you're going to move away and be with this person instead of being with them. You know what I mean? Like maybe like you, maybe you have like a roommate and you guys are best friends and it's like you're, you're talking to someone that lives, you know, at a distance and they're kind of getting jealous because they don't want you to move away and, and leave them to pay rent by themselves or whatever. They don't, you know what I mean? Like they want things to stay. Someone here is the energy I get is someone that wants, someone wants to, wants things to stay as they were, or they want things to go back to how they were before. But you know, true love comes and just shakes everything up and there's no going back to how it used to be before. You know what I mean? Like someone's jealous and they want things to go back to how they were before. But you know what? This couple is is passionate and in love and romantic and things are going to change. She might be moving out. He might be moving out. Um, old friends might be falling away for both of them. It's like there's, you know, true love is unpredictable sometimes. So it's like, you know, someone's trying to put her or him back, you know, in this little box, this little easy to understand box. And it's just not happening because this true love has already come in. Um, but I do feel like people have created issues for this couple because they see pride and stubbornness where it's like these two people want to talk and they're not talking. This could also be, like I said, it might not necessarily be that people got in their head. It could just be their own beliefs and their own fears. Like maybe they maybe they were brought up to be overly logical and think that, you know, you have to wait a few years before you get married or you have to do this or relationships that are passionate can never last or relationships are meant to be boring or, you know, like yada, yada, just bitter people that have kind of, you know, gotten in their head over the years. But there's some kind of, there's some kind of energy here where, where other people, third party energies have created issues for these couples, for this couple and caused confusion. But if you go inward, if this person just goes inward and, and looks to their, their dreams, visions, telepathic communication, they're going to see that this is a deep soul connection. This isn't codependency. This is actually something real. This is a soulmate or twin flame connection. This is something very real and very pure. And if this is your story and you'd like a third party, I just said a third party reading. Maybe some of you are in third party situations where there's a jealous karmic on her end or his, or it could be gay or lesbian relationships too. However, you know, however it plays out. But, um, 
Maybe someone here does need a third party reading. That was really weird. I said that. I was about to say, like, set, like do you want a third party reading? I meant to say, <laughs> if you would like a private reading, I am doing $40 in-depth readings, video readings, record, private recorded videos that last 30 minutes or longer uh, this, this week only. So send me an email at dragonenchantress at awol.com. My email is right below in the description box below this video. So you can just copy and paste it and email me. And I'm glad to do a reading for you guys and look more in depth into this situation and get the specific details. Cause I mean, this is just a general reading for this energy group, but if you want really in depth details, really spe spe specific details, I can go more in depth in for this Oh my gosh, someone here is like nervous. Someone here is nervous or it got like a throat chakra block. This is weird energy. Anyway, what I was trying to say is, yes, I can go more in depth into this energy for you. Just send me an email. Any donations are appreciated too. My uh, donation link is right below in the description box. Even just a dollar, it adds up quickly. But yeah, dreams. Yeah, someone just needs to go inward and and stop listening to their fears stop listening to society stop listening to your jealous brother or sister or family or friends or whatever and get out of your head and listen to your to this truth this is there's telepathic connection uh, communication between these two even if they're not talking physically even if there's like pride or stubbornness going on where they both want to talk but you know she's waiting for him he's waiting for her they're right next to each other. It's like they want to touch each other. They want to just cuddle and be close to each other, but they're both being prideful and stubborn and waiting for the other one to break first and reach out first. But if you, this is the truth here. This is this telepathic communication. This is a very strong psychic connection. This is a very strong twin flame or soulmate life partner connection. This is true love. You know, and if someone takes the time to, to step outside of their fears and their insecurities and what society thinks, what their mom thinks, what this per this person thinks, what that person thinks, you know, because there's a very nervous energy here. If someone can step out of that anxiety and nervous energy and meditate and ground themselves, they're going to and, and block out third party energies and karmics and all that and listen to their own soul, their own heart, their own intuition they're going to realize, they're going to come to these epiphanies and realize that this is a very strong, very deep psychic connection. There is telepathic communication going on. You guys are picking up on each other's energies right now, even if you're not physically talking. If someone wants to make a love offer, some kind of commitment here. Or someone's wanting a commitment here. Someone here is hoping for the other person to... To kind of get in a more, um, I don't want to say a heroic energy, but like a more masculine kind of take charge, kind of dominant energy, I guess. If that male or female, take it how it resonates. But someone here is wanting someone to take the risk, to show them that they're worth it, to, you know, to make this bold gesture, to choose love over fear, to choose true love, to listen to their own intuition. I feel like there were trust issues in this connection as well and pride that stemmed from other people. And I think that someone in this connection is very upset about this. Like someone is very heartbroken that their person did not have their back and their person did not trust them. Their person listened to their friend or to the karmic or to their, their parents or family or whoever got in their head and wanted to separate these two. And someone's really heartbroken and upset about that. Someone really just wants someone knows already that this is their person but they want trust they want they they wish that their person would trust them and open up to them and have faith in them and believe in this relationship believe in this connection you know listen to their own voice their own intuition listen to the this you know this is a very deep telepathic connection so someone here is just really hoping that um for truth for clarity for for justice for this person, for someone, male or female, to step up and make this, this love offer, this promise to, you know, to be in this with them, to fight alongside them instead of fighting against them. You know, to have their back, to, to work on trust issues and trust them as much as they're capable of. Someone's really hoping that someone takes this risk, this reward, um, 
you know, someone makes a bold gesture and chooses love over their fear and over what other people think or what other people, you know, they, they want, they, someone wants this person to choose their own intuition and their own, um, you know, de destiny, but destiny is the energy I get. Someone's wanting this person to really choose love over fear and make a bold gesture, make and make a love offer, make, you know, openness, communication, honesty, clarity, you know, truth. Someone's just wanting to be chosen here. Someone, you know what I mean? Someone's really wanting to be chosen here is what I'm feeling. Like, I feel like someone here is, um, how do I explain this energy? Oh, sorry. I'm just looking, I'm, I'm, re I'm looking into it. I'm, I'm picking it up. Let me see here. Someone here is waiting to see what the other person's going to do. Someone here is waiting to see if the other person is going to keep letting people get in their head and letting other people influence this connection and get in the way of this connection and let their pride get in the way of this connection? Or are they going to choose love over fear? Are they going to be brave? Are they going to be, you know, are they going to embody that, that masculine, strong, powerful energy that they originally thought they were going to embody? Does that make sense? Like they're, they're waiting to see what someone's going to do here. They're waiting. It's almost like, what is that that Madonna song? Justify my love or just, justify my faith or whatever it's called. Like someone's waiting to see if their faith in this relationship and this person is justified. You know, like, are you going to show up for me? Or are you going to let me down? Are you going to break my heart and listen to other people and let other influences get in the way of this? Or, you know, are you going to show me that you're the man I thought you were or the woman I thought you were? Are you going to step up to the plate here? And show me that my faith in you and in us is justified. Are you going to be, you know, open and honest and vulnerable and, and choose love over fear? Even if there's trust issues to work through here, you know, at, at least, you know, taking that leap of faith and putting yourself out there is important. The issue here, though, is that these two people are kind of just waiting for, you know, she's waiting for him to budge and he's waiting for her to budge. And they want to be close to each other. They, they miss each other. They love each other. They want to be close, but, but they're both just waiting for the other one to budge. And both people in this connection are kind of frustrated. And someone is going to sooner or later start losing faith in this. Someone has faith, but they're waiting on the other person to see what the other person does, to see if the other person reaches out and, you know, chooses them and makes things right. And, you know, sh says any, just says something to just let them know that they care, that they want them in their life, that they want to work through their trust issues. It's like, you know, love versus sphere here is basically the energy I'm getting. And I feel like both people might be waiting for that. That's the problem is that this other person might also be, be losing faith a little bit and waiting for this other person to budge and reach out. And so they're both kind of slowly losing faith in each other because it's like she's waiting for him, he's waiting for her. And then, you know, she's just praying that he reaches out and that he shows her that he loves her and that he wants her and he makes things right. And, you know, at least gets the door open. You know what I mean? Like, even if it's just like, hey, I'm figuring my life out, but I do care about you. I do want a future with you. Just something. Just something where it's like he can show her that he is letting his pride go. That he is, that he does trust her. That he does believe in her. That he does believe in this connection. You know what I mean? Some kind of justice, truth, clarity. Um, the problem is that I feel like he's also possibly waiting for that. He might also be waiting for that message to come through from her. And she's like, she's, you know, she's not going to message. She's waiting for him to message. They're both waiting for each other. And so it's kind of like almost like a stagnant energy going around in circles because they're both waiting on the other person to budge. They're both being prideful and stubborn. 
And it's like, so he is probably kind of like losing faith as well. Like, well, okay, I haven't, you know, she hasn't talked to me in a while or, or she's, we've been talking, but she's very short with me. Um, maybe it's like you guys are talking, but you're like, it's like, hey, how's your day? And that's it. And like, there's something that needs to be said here. And he's waiting for her to say it. And she's waiting for him to say it. Like, I love you. Or this could be like someone that you are talking to. For, for some, like you, there's no communication here. But, the other, but you're both waiting for the other person to reach out. For others, you guys are in communication. But it's like small talk. Like you're saying, hey, how's your day? And he's hoping that she confesses her feelings and says, I love you. And he's hoping... You know, she's, she's hoping he confesses his feelings and says, I love you. And he's hoping that she confesses her feelings first and says, I love you. It could be two people that like are not, like they both love each other, but they're like not budging. Like the, they're not willing to say, I love you first. So there's different variations of this story. But basically it's two people that love each other and that do want to be close to each other. But they're not, you know, they're waiting on each other. They're not willing to budge here. So it's kind of like... You know, this person, I think, is, is expecting her to reach out, but she's not. And she's expecting to him to reach out, and he's not. Or, or like I said, maybe you guys are talking, but there's, there's more that needs to be said, and you're waiting for this person to say it, but they're not. Or, or, you know, you're this person waiting for her to say it, but she's not. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you guys are waiting for someone to budge here. And it's like, there's so many things left unsaid. There's so much love here. And it's, it's a shame to let pride and stubbornness and other people's opinions get in the way of true love. And let, you know, letting fear of commitment get in the way of true love. It's, it's a tragedy. You know what I mean? Loyalty, stability, vows. Yeah. This energy to me is kind of like... Like, I've never... How do I explain it? Because I've been... I personally, like, I understand this energy because I have... You know, I've been ghosted in the past. Like, I have been through that those situations where I've been ghosted. And I honestly see it as cowardly. I honestly see it as cowardly. There's no nice way to put it. Like, it's not an energy I have a lot of respect for when it happens. It's like, you, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, like, step up. Step up here. Step up. Someone wants someone to, to man up here, honestly. So I get this energy. I really, I understand, I, I get it. I feel it. Because um, there's so much love here and it's so sad to let that go to waste. And just the energy I get from these two cards is like everybody is afraid because so many people use that as an excuse. Whether they use it as an excuse for their partner or for themselves or just in general. So many people say like, oh, I've been heartbroken. I'm afraid of getting hurt. I have fears of commitment. I'm used to being alone, yada, yada. But you know what? Every single person has that. Unless they're shallow. But every single person with emotional depth has had their heart ripped out. Every single, every single person has, has been there, has been heartbroken, has been through all that. But you decide who's worth it to you and what isn't. You know what I mean? Like, like, it's not about not being afraid. It's about being willing to push through that fear and work through the fear and work through the trust issues for the person that you love. And so it's almost like someone's here, someone here is trying to make that excuse, like, well, I'm afraid of commitment. And it's like this, she doesn't care if he's afraid of commitment. Be afraid all you want, but show me I'm worth it to you anyway. You know what I mean? Like, be as scared as you want to be. You can have the commitment issues. She doesn't expect, expect him to, to suppress his commitment issues or, or, or suppress his fears, but she wants him to be loyal and stable and consistent anyway. She wants him to work through those trust issues with her and be honest with the honest about the trust issues with her and, and get through that with her and work through that together as a couple to make their relationship stronger. Or he wants that from her. Take it as it resonates. But it's kind of like this energy where, um, you know, someone acknowledges that there's a lot of fear here, but they still want the loyalty and the stability and the consistency anyway. They still want, you know what I mean? Like they, like, it's not about not being afraid. Everybody is afraid. Everybody has anxiety. Everybody has trust issues. But the reality is that if you love someone, you'll work through those. You'll, you'll stick by their side and you'll work through those trust issues. You know what I mean? Like, someone that truly loves you will not put themselves in a position to lose you. Someone that truly loves you will not push you away time and time again. 
um, you know what I mean? Like someone that, you, you know, and I think that's that, I think that's someone's line of thinking here where she's kind of like, okay, he or she is kind of like, she's thinking like, what are you going to do? Like, are you going to step up? Are you going to be the man that I believed you could be? Are we going to work through these spheres together and get through this together and have this consistency and this loyalty with each other? Like, I want you to have my back and I want to have your back. I want a strong relationship with you. I get that you're afraid. I get that you're damaged. I get that, I get that you've been through a lot, but everybody has, everybody's been, you know what I mean? Everybody's been through a lot. Everybody has been heartbroken. What are you going to do about it though? Are you going to push past those fears and show me that you love me and that I'm worth it to you anyway? Or are you just going to give in to fear and sabotage true love out of fear? You know what I mean? So it's like she's kind of waiting to see if he steps up, if he, you know, proves to be the man that she believed he was. If he chooses love over fear. You know, she's kind of waiting to see what he's going to do. But the problem is, like I said, he's also doing the same. He's waiting to see what she's going to do. And honestly, I think that the feminine energy is not going to do anything. I don't think she's going to do anything. I think that she's going to stand in her power. Look at her. It's like she's like she's she's hurt, but she's putting a mask on. She's got a mask. Like, see this mask she's wearing? I don't know if you can see that. Like, she's hurt. She's upset, but she's wearing a mask. She's not showing this pain. You know, she's probably heartbroken, but she's not showing it. But I just feel like she, the feminine energy here is waiting, you know, is basically saying like, okay, like, yeah, everybody is afraid. That's not an excuse. You know what I mean? Like, work through that fear. Work through the trust issues. Be as afraid as you want to be. Have, pour it all out on me. Pour it all out. Have all the anxiety you want to have, but stay by my side and work through it with me. Let's let this, you know, let this make us stronger as a couple. So she's kind of waiting to see if he's going to prove to be the man that she believes him to be. If he is going to be strong and brave and make a bold gesture and reach out and confess his feelings and say, I love you. You know, is he going to choose love over fear? And I honestly, I don't see the feminine budging in this energy. I don't see the feminine budging. I feel like she's going to wait. I feel like she's going to wait for him to confess feelings first or him to mess message first. And if he doesn't, it's going to, it's going to break her heart, but it's, it's also going to make her lose faith. And it's going to make her believe that, you know, like maybe he really didn't love me. Maybe they're, you know, because someone that loves you will not put themselves in a position to lose you. Someone that loves you is not going to be okay going long periods of time, not seeing you or not talking to you. You know what I mean? And she knows this. This woman is like intuitive. She's empathic. She knows this. She knows that if this man loves her, he will choose love over fear, no matter how afraid he is. You know what I mean? Like she knows. She knows intuitively. So she's standing in her power. She's just, you know, as she might be heartbroken, but she's standing in her power. She's staying still and she's waiting for this masculine energy to reach out first or to say, I love you first or however it plays out for your specific story. Um, because she knows, she knows that if he loves her, he's going to say, I love you. He's going to reach out first. You know, she wants him to be in that alpha energy. She wants him to take control. She wants him. She wants to see that he's a real man here. Basically, honestly, even if he's scared, she just wants to see him push past that fear and show that she's worth it to him. Um, so, so yeah, I'm not seeing the feminine energy here budging. She's going to wait. She's going to wait and she's going to pray and hope to God that he messages or that he says, I love you, or he shows up or, or comes to her door or however it plays out. You know, she's going to pray that he gets in this masculine kind of night in energy and chooses love over fear, you know? And if he's not, then she's, you know, it's going to break her heart. It's going to be consistently heartbreaking for her. But I also see it being like a situation where she might lose faith and she might be like, okay, well, he obviously doesn't love me then. Someone that, you know what I mean? Like she knows that someone that loves you will not put themselves in a position to lose you. So I just see this feminine kind of like heartbroken, 
um, kind of halfway, halfway in, halfway out, like, you know, halfway between having hope and faith in this relationship, but part of her is starting to slowly lose faith. Um, part of her is, there's a lot of, there's a lot of emotions between these two. There's very deep, very mutual love between these two people here. And I just see her waiting and just hoping that, just, just hoping and praying that he chooses love over fear. Um, I feel like the masculine is doing the same thing a little bit where he's kind of hoping that she reaches out first and he's kind of almost like prideful, cocky kind of energy where he's expecting her to reach out. He's, he's expecting her to break down. He can probably feel her pain. I feel like this feminine cries herself to sleep over this masculine sometimes. I feel like she actually cries herself to sleep. Like her heart is broken. But again, she's stand, She's in this neutral position where she's standing in her power and she's waiting to see what he's going to do next. She's waiting to see if he's going to choose her, if he's going to be the man that she believed him to be, if she, if he's going to show up for her. Um, she's waiting for to, to see if he loves her or not, basically, because she knows that if he doesn't reach out, then he doesn't love her, you know? Like, you shouldn't have to beg someone for time and communication and effort. Someone that loves you will give that to you naturally, and she knows that. The issue here, though, is that this masculine is also waiting for her to budge. The masculine is also maybe used to women chasing him, or possibly um, maybe he's just, just prideful or stubborn or... Maybe doesn't want to admit that he was wrong about certain things. So he's waiting for her to budge. Probably because he can feel her pain too. He can feel her crying herself to sleep. He can feel her emotions. And so I think he's thinking that, you know, she's going to budge. But she's, she could be in bed all day, every day. She could be, she could be drinking every day in bed. She could, not, not that she is, but I'm saying for some, it's like, you know, not that she is, but I'm just saying, you know, she could be out living her best life right now. She could be crying. Whatever the situation is, um, she's not going to budge. She's going to wait to see what he does. She's going to wait to see if he truly loves her, if he truly wants her. You know, she's going to match his energy, basically. And it's sad that this masculine is so prideful and stubborn because this is true love. Like, she's at her best and she's happiest when she's with him and vice versa. Like when they're being open and honest with each other, that's when they're at their best. That's when they're at their peak. That's when they're at their happiest. That's when the mask comes off. She only takes this mask off around him, but this time she's not taking it off on her own. He has to come to her and ask her to take that mask off and she will. All he has to do is ask. You know, she's only a phone call away. She's only a message away. She's right there waiting open with open arms for him. She wants to love him. She wants to cuddle with him. She wants to talk to him and be with him and work through it. But she's not going to budge. She's going to sit there in her power and wait to see what he does and wait for him to message first or wait for him to say, I love you first or, or show up at her house or however that plays out. You know, she's going to wait. Um, and like I said, I think that he's feeling how heartbroken she is. He's feeling her crying. He's feeling... You know, it's like a mix of energies. I think that she's heartbroken. I think that she's um, trying to stay focused on work as well so that she doesn't fall into a deep depression that she can't come out of easily. Um, I think there's a mix of energies here with the feminines. But, um, but it's like he's feeling that pain from her. He's picking up on her energies and feeling how hurt she is and how much she's longing for him. And he's expecting her to cave and message, but she's just not going to. This masculine, if this is going to happen, this masculine's going to have to reach out. This masculine's going to have to reach out and, and show her that he does care. You know, she's just stepping back. She's standing in her power and waiting to see what happens. She's, you know what I mean? Like, it's one of the situations where the, the ball is in the masculine's court here. You know, she's waiting to see how it plays out. She's waiting to... She is waiting to see what he says next, what he does next, you know? 
And it's a sad situation because it's like the silence actually drives them further apart because a lot of these masculines are afraid to message the feminines. And the, that makes her almost see him as... I don't... Uh, How do I explain that? Um, a lot of them are, they have like regrets or they have, um, there might be secrets and she already knows the secrets. He thinks that she doesn't know the secrets, but she does know the secrets already and all is forgiven already. She understands, she's channeled it, she understands it or she's picked up on the energy. She, she knows, she's intuitive. This is a very intuitive, very psychic woman. Um, you know, and all is forgiven is the energy I get. But it's, it's like, I think a lot of the masculines are scared of what she'll say or do. And it's almost like the masculines are digging themselves into this hole because the more they wait, the more she loses space. You know what I mean? Where it's like so easy for him to get out of this hole, but he has to be willing to take this leap of faith and choose love and be honest and open and be loyal, you know? But a lot of them get in their head and they get scared and they're like, you know, then before they know it, a lot of time has gone by and she's losing faith. So it's like they're digging themselves this hole and they don't realize how easy it is to get out of this hole by just being open and communicating, you know, just say I love you. Just let this person know that you care. It's just, it's so simple. It's so simple. And a lot of the masculines don't realize just how simple it is. Um... But yeah, like I said, she's waiting to see what's going to happen next, what he's going to do next. It's one of those situations where it's like someone, someone or both people are going to lose faith sooner or later. Someone's, you know what I mean? Like that faith is, you know, I think that it goes back and forth where she has a lot of faith in him and has a lot of hope. And then she feels completely disappointed and completely like, like just almost, not like not completely hopeless but like really like man up step up you know like be brave <laughs> i think there's a lot of mixed energies with both these two but someone's got a cave you know and i just i don't i don't see it being the feminine energy i feel like it has to be the masculine Yeah, there's miscommunication here too. Spying. Someone seems cold and guarded, but they're not. They seem guarded because there was miscommunication, because they misunderstood something, or because someone got in their head. So someone's spying and they think that this this energy is is cold or guarded and distrusting when actually this it's not there's just miscommunication or anger or an argument that made them think that they were you know this person's they're match this person this feminine's ma matching the masculine's energy so it, it's kind of like that energy like if you don't talk to me we don't talk then if you do talk to me and you're open with me i'll be open with you you'll be honest with me i'll be i'll be honest with you you trust me and you believe in our connection then i'll trust you and i'll believe in our connection again too she is waiting to match his energy, and she is matching his energy. But there's a masculine energy here who's just insecure, and they misunderstand things. They they assign their own meaning to things, where it's like they might have felt rejected, but she didn't reject him. She might have said something kind of assertive, but she didn't actually reject him. But he's insecure, so he takes it as rejection. But she's not actually cold or guarded or distrusting. She's just matching his energy. There's a difference. You know what I mean? Like maybe he misunderstood and sees her assertiveness as her not trusting him when it's it's not like that. She actually does want, she might want to go on a vacation with him. She wants the adventure. She wants it to just be the two of them or he wants this as well. This is mutual energy here. They want that honeymoon. They want that new start, the, you know, vacation, adventure, just the two of them together, you know, kind of retreating from the rest of the world. Someone's trying to manifest this here too. Someone's putting the intention in. What are they trying to manifest? What is someone trying to manifest? Yeah, someone's shy of... Re God. 
God, someone's afraid of rejection. Someone is afraid of rejection, and so they're trying to manifest this other person to cave and message first, but it's not going to happen. This could be the masculine is trying to manifest the feminine to cave and message first, but she's not going to. She's going to wait for him to message first. No matter how much it hurts her, she could be dying to send a message. She could be dying to send a message right now. She could be crying her eyes out, wanting the masculine in her arms more than she ever has in her life, just wanting him there more than anything. She is still going to stand in her power, though, and let him come to her and let him show her if he wants her or loves her or not. Because I'm getting for some of these feminines, like, you felt like... In the beginning, you felt like like this is like a like an alpha male, like this is like a real man. This is like different. This is like everything I've ever wanted. This is like just happy. Just like you like fall asleep in their arms and you just feel like just so happy, so protected, so loved. And some of you don't feel wanted anymore. Like you, some of these feminines that felt so beautiful, and so wanted, and so just protected by this person don't feel that now they feel like they like you still love like the feminine still love this masculine they still want to be with this they do want to be with this masculine they still do want to be with this masculine they want the new start with this masculine energy they want the honeymoon they want the new start they want to be with this person they really do but some of them don't feel protected by this masculine anymore they don't feel wanted by this masculine they don't they don't feel beautiful anymore they don't feel like like they don't feel certain that he's going to step up or that he's going to you know what I mean like they don't feel certain that he's um that he's going to uh to show up and to be the man that she felt he was you know to to be that in that alpha masculine energy like some of these feminines are like you know like they just don't feel beautiful they don't feel wanted they don't feel good enough right now they feel kind of insecure they feel like you know, they feel, they feel, they feel insecure. Some of these feminines do feel insecure and it's sad because they felt so beautiful and so wanted and so taken care of by this person before, like just so happy, just such a purity there. And some of them just feel like, like they don't even know if this masculine loves them or not anymore. And it's painful. And then this masculine here is shy and afraid of rejection because he's insecure and he gets in his head and then you know, he tries to manifest the feminine back and she feels it and she wants to come back, but she wants him to, to make the first move. It's like, step up, make the first move here, you know? Because she's open. He doesn't know that she's open. A lot of them think that she's, that she's pissed or she hates him and it's not the case. She actually loves him very much, but she's just standing in her power and, and waiting for him to make this first move waiting for him she wants to see if he really loves her or not and she like I said she knows that if he reaches out that means he loves her that he does care about her and if he ignores her and acts like she doesn't exist she knows very well that someone that loves her would make an effort for her you know what I mean like she's she's waiting to see what's going to happen so it's kind of like like a stalemate the situation it's like they're both trying to manifest each other back there, she's really hoping and praying he messages. He's really hoping and praying she messages. And they're both heartbreak, heartbroken right now. They're both missing each other right now. And it's really sad because this is a, a divine couple. This is true love. This is a soulmate or a twin flame couple. And you know what I mean? It's like, don't let a good relationship go out of pride, you know? Because this is destiny. This is destiny right here. This is true love. This is mutual feelings, emotional depth. The feelings are mutual. The love is mutual. These two people both want to be together. They both love each other. They're both deeply in love with each other. They both want to go to travel to, maybe he wants to travel to her, or she wants to travel to him, or they want to go on a vacation together. They want this adventure, this new start. They want to be together. They they want each other. They long for each other. Their heart is, both of them are causing themselves so much pain and so much, they're just longing for each other. They want to be in each other's arms right now. And it's sad that, you know, pride is causing issues for this couple because, you know, this is true love. Yeah, pride, there's pain. There's so much pain. And it's like, this is true love though. This is your potential life partner. Look at that. You can't make this up. This is like your person, the person you're meant to marry, the person you're meant to spend your life with. 
and the feelings are mutual. But someone needs to step out of their insecurities and out of the opinions of others and take a leap of faith. Um, clubs, parties, social life. Someone could be partying. Or you could maybe maybe you know this person from like like us like you guys are going to the same clubs or same social circle. Make your move. Yeah, it's like she's open. Look how vulnerable and open she is. It's like just make your move. There's the green green light. You know what I mean? Like she still wants this. She still loves you. She still wants this. You know. But the more he hesitates, the more he waits, the more he listens to his fear or listens to other people, the more she starts doubting his love for her. Beauty, mystery, enchantment. Okay, let's get some final messages here. It's like, it seems mysterious, but it's so simple. This is true love. Just, you know, take a leap of faith and don't let your pride sabotage a good thing. Yeah, because both people want to reconcile here. Someone, what is someone trapped by? Power struggle. Someone's trapped by a power struggle. Someone is blocked up. Their throat chakra is blocked. They're blindfolded because of a power struggle. Because they don't want to be the one to chase. And she's, you know what I mean? And she's not going to chase him. She wants to be pursued. This is someone, I think that she's more old fashioned. She wants the man to do the pursuing. She likes that. She likes feeling protected and wanted and pursued by her man. And maybe he's used to women coming at him. So he thinks that she's going to come to him and she's, she's waiting. So there's a power struggle here that's keeping this couple blocked and tied up and blocking them from reconciling. And it's, it's sad. This power struggle needs to end. Truth and clarity. Yeah, the truth is coming out that someone just needs to be courageous and assertive and move forward. You know, because nostalgia, it's like she's, they're longing for each other. They're longing for each other. They just need to get out of stagnant energy. The love is here. There's a very deep mutual love here. These people are meant to get married. There might be a third party creating, trying to create stagnant energy as well because she knows that he's nostalgic for this other woman. And that's that hidden truth that's coming out. And when he listens, when he has this new perspective, when he starts listening and understanding, listening to his divine feminine, it's going to open doors up to this new perspective and he's going to understand things that he didn't understand before. He's also going to start understanding that the karmic has no power. Maybe she's trying to, you know, put on this illusion that she has power. Check out my third party readings if this is your story because someone here is trying to dominate and control the other person. And stop them from going to their true home with their true love. And it's not going to happen. I mean, it's not. They can't. They're trying to control this, but they can't. There is there is open, honest communication coming through. You know? Someone just needs to stop overthinking. Someone needs to stop overthinking this and stop getting in their head and being scared. And start being brave and being courageous and moving towards their destiny, towards their potential life partner and being willing to be vulnerable and open and receptive. Because like I said, this is true love. This is, this is true love right here. This is, this is like life partner energy. This is twin flame soulmate energy. This, this couple is divinely guided. They are meant to be together. But someone here just needs to let go of pride and ego. Someone here needs to budge. Um, and get out of stagnant energy so that this relationship can start moving forward. Even if it has to move forward slowly, there just needs to be some kind of forward movement with this couple finally. So anyway, I hope that all makes sense. Um, if you'd like a private reading, just email me. My email is below in the description box. Any donations are appreciated. Even just a dollar adds up quickly. And I thank you guys for watching.